Y'all have had uh, some ball busting going on. Yeah. Uh, Lots of it. Yesterday, I want to say we had more balls busted than, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's just them being in the floor (laughs) or what it was. Well, that thing's cool looking. We picked that up Wednesday. And when we ordered it, we didn't realize it was going to be yellow. Like, and when we opened it up, it was just, it was bright. Sun was on it. It ought to sail, though. That thing's cool looking with that. It is. Yeah. And because of the unique color, yep. if you buy that box, we're going to give you that jacket for free. There you go. Can't beat that. A lot of people like the uh, rat pink, though, so they don't care what color the main box is. Mm-hmm. So. You ought to be able to sell that at a Freightliner shop. That's the Freightliner yeah. logo, you know. Old school cab over on there. It is pretty neat. Yeah, it is. I and like it's it. limited edition, so it's not like it's going to be a stock box. I like it. It's cool. If I was in the market for a roll card, I'd definitely have to yeah. get that. That's cool. That's one of the new things we're going to show is compared to our other cart. Now, that's a JSC, which is a Jamestown service cart. Right. And that's an MSC. So you can kind of tell the size difference mm-hmm. there and then, like, the bumpers on it. You know, they upgraded ours on here which i got lights everywhere but uh these are rubber bumpers that's right. still the hard plastic but their price difference there too so yeah so and the I'll, jamestown is like the kind of the yeah. top of the line right yeah it right. is a lot of people they like those when we have them on here but now if you have somebody that's like okay well, i really don't want to pay that for a cart yeah you got anything just a little bit you know more in my price range so we'll give them an msc but we hadn't had any problems out of those. I mean, a lot of people like them because they, you know, they're so light and they can push around just as good as the JSC cart. Well, that's a cool looking cart. And most of the time when they do a unique design, it's on an MSC cart. Different with the two handles too on the front like that, you know? Yes. So you have, to, it's got a lever in the back, I see, to lock yep. the drawers on that. That's cool though. Yeah, and see, I if like you want to add lights to it, I mean, it's always the option there, too, so. I like it. It's cool. Well. Well, that. y'all have sold a lot of stuff, apparently, to have this much. Yes. Balls in the floor. It, so. That's a good thing. It's kind of crazy, to be honest. Like, I wasn't expecting it to go as fast as what it did. But it started Friday, like, before Friday like this previous Friday Mm because I was out but uh Michael said that one person busted the ball in the floor and then he just left it which is no big deal that's the point of the game you know a lot of people just pick them and throw them away well he said that they started like whenever that guy did it at the same shop another guy did it and it was like it was just like snowballed well then Monday I was like well, well y'all need to get them out of the garbage and throw them on the floor and step on them. Well, see, I've already <laughs> thrown them away, so, but, because Thursday is our garbage day, which I know that's too much information, but, so we try to clean everything up. Well, then, you know, Friday, it's kind of mm. nice and neat, but I was like, well, dang, you know, I'm just not going to mess with it all weekend. And then Monday, we got on here, and at the first shop, they said, like, oh, what happened? Did y'all get into it? There's a pry bar laying right here, you know, y'all knocked some balls <laughs> off. And, no, it was all part of the game. And they were like, oh, well, I want to, well, how can I do it? So then we went over the list of yeah. what they could do. And it just kind of, I guess it helps having them in the floor. There you go. Yes, yeah, so we do own a shop back. We will be cleaning Can't it up. Can't beat it. But there's no point in doing it whenever there's balls still on the sure. ceiling. Yeah. So. Well, that's good. Yeah. I know, uh. There was somebody asked on one of the videos, he said that he had a Matco ratchet and the handle, the soft grip handle was all beat up and looking rough. What what can you do about that? What can I do about Not it? Not you, but like in hmm. general, what does is, what is most people do? Kind of a sticky situation. Yeah. I'm just saying that if I had a ratchet, I ain't got one on that's broke it's a 3h drive i don't know he didn't specify if it is a flex head ratchet yeah 
I'm it's hypothetical. I don't know. You know, I've had guys that. Oh. You tell that gal's pulled a bunch of ratchets off the ceiling. She's here to grab that strap. Well, <laughs> all right. So on a flex head ratchet. Yeah. I'm ignoring this handle. Okay. okay. I'm ignoring. It. There's some ears right here. Mm-hmm. And you know when you torque it real hard, and it just pops Breaks. right here off. You have I to put a new handle on it. I gotta, I gotta get you a whole new ratchet. Okay. I'm just saying. There you go. If, There's your answer. Fixed. Done. I mean, because I mean, I've seen some guys that had some sockets on here that they should, and I mean they were torquing it and it just, it just popped that ear. Happens. I mean. Yeah. But I mean, if you break the ear and don't break the anvil, I mean that's pretty decent. Mm -hmm. But most time you have to replace the gears. And all that stuff, but if if it's really used, you know, if that ear's broke, I can't I can't yep. I can't replace gotta, the handle for you, but I can replace the whole ratchet. Just gonna fix it. There you go. There's your okay. answer. Done. Right. <laughs> Simple. Easy as that. Exactly. Just keep it's, using it till the ears break off the handle and Yeah. But I mean it, it has it has you, you gotta use your hand yep. to put out on it. Enough torque it, it <laughs> We've had a guy 18 with a shop. I'll show you. Did Michael show y'all the the three quarter inch ratchet? Okay, so right at your feet. Yep. You see, he ain't flex head. Right. He is our. I don't know if you can. Got see. a little bow to it. You think? Well, yeah. Is that better? Yeah. You can kind of see the. I'm trying to get it where you can see it. But. Got a little bow in it. Yeah, he, he's his little bow. But uh, now he can't slide it up and down right. like it's supposed to. So we're we're going we're going to try help him out best we can. He's that a really says a lot for that ratchet head to hold up. Don't it? Yep. Well, I can tell you that somebody, not that guy, said that he was telling him not to use his ratchet because these people don't. Uh, the person that borrowed it didn't know how to use it correctly. And let's just say there was about an eight foot long pipe. Is that you said it? I did. Yeah. And uh, said there were about three of them bouncing on it. You got to do what you got to do sometimes, you know. And said it. Sounds like they needed an impact. You would think. Just yeah. Saying. But uh, maybe a one inch impact would have done it. But and, and they they ain't no babies up there. You got to do what you got to do to exactly. get it loose. So. But I do have a new light to show you. Okay. Yeah, I left it up front, so give me okay. news to see. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do to get the job done sometimes. Exactly. So this just come in this yesterday, day before yesterday. Okay. Uh, they sent us orange. I don't know why. I like orange. Yeah, well, a lot of people do. Okay. All right. That's so, some Spanish right over there. I can't oh, read it, but. Well, my bad. We'll try that time. Well, there, there you go. Fold and work like There we go. <laughs> I want to learn Spanish, but I ain't got there yet. Look, I'm gonna have I, to download Babel. I'm not. I'm not down in nobody's customer service at all, right? So yesterday I had to call in to Maco. Well, you know how customer service, whenever you have that many distributors, is going to be work thin. And we yeah. have some really good customer service reps, especially there's one. And I didn't know her name whenever I first got on the truck. And Michael said, if you call in and you get her. You, anything that you have, you better make sure that you get it all fixed right then because she will get on it. Her name's Linda. But uh, anyway, she's fantastic. So I call in yesterday. Shout out to Linda. Yeah. Hopefully Linda knows out. this is like yes. all the other people call Linda. Exactly. You want to talk to Linda. If you want yep. anything fixed, you talk to Linda. And that's coming from somebody that... Best thing to do is just call and say, hey, I got my call cut off as soon as Linda answered. I need to talk exactly. about Exactly. <laughs> if they would, I would, I'd do that. But uh, anyway, so I call in and so like normal customer service, it's one for, you know, English mm -hmm. or two for Spanish. Well, I was needing to talk to my financial services because it was a credit app. And so I, instead of pressing one real quick and then pressing two, I pressed two first. So I was talking Spanish. It went straight to them. Like, I mean, no wait time, no nothing. I, wow. think, I told Michael, I need to start trying to speak Learn Spanish. Things. Get Babel. Exactly. Download that Babel app. Exactly. Well, I mean, if it had, like, Google Translate. I you know would... what's crazy is Caroline liked Dora the Explorer. 
What? So she used to watch Dora. Well, they teach Spanish yeah. and, and learn. It blows my mind how much Spanish she learned from watching that show. Exactly. It's crazy. Well, um, there's another show watched Dora. that does that. Uh, it was the boy version of Dora. I can't remember his name. I think his name is Pedro or something like that. But anyways, it was pretty decent too. It might have been the knockoff of Dora. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so this is our new light. Okay. So it is kind of chunky, but you ain't going to be carrying it in your pocket. Right. So it has three lights. You have here. You have the LED bar. And you have the top. Right. So it is a thousand lumens, I think what it said. Let me see. Oh. Well, I take it back. I can't read Spanish either. Look on the side. Oh, 950. So 80 to 950, and then the secondary light's 40 to 400. So, yeah. So it's got a blade style light. Yeah. So a smaller blade style light. Right. So it cut, it's, it's full bright right now, but you hold it down. And I don't know. Oh, now it goes bright, and it's off, and then it goes back down. It goes back up. But we did find out something neat. So there, and it cuts on here. But this light mm -hmm. will not cut on until you close it. Close it. That's the way the snap-on. I've got the snap-on light like that, and that's mm -hmm. the way it works. But it's pretty neat. And then it has this fold out here. So that's a magnet. Oh yeah. See, so the snap-on will have that. It's just a magnet on the bottom. And it's pretty it. strong. I mean. And then, I mean, it has that direct light underneath it. Mm -hmm. So if you need to use it there, or you have the option to do the others. Nice. So if you can find a metal hood, yeah. there you go. <laughs> Rare things now. I know. But it's. Ain't gonna be long. Ain't gonna be no metal in a car. I know. Or steel, I guess. Well, yeah. Be but. some kind of aluminum alloy junk. Pitiful. They cost more and they're made out of cheaper crap. Oh, yeah. And whenever you hit a deer, it's just yep. scatters. We're making fun of, not making fun of, I guess. We have a lot of guys who deer hunt. So mm -hmm. they'll go hunt and then come into work. And then normally, by the time we get there, is whenever they're just getting good and started. They were griping about how they weren't seeing nothing and anything else. Well, we were on our way home yesterday from Corinth. Now, you know where Biggersville School's at? Mm -hmm. I know they don't, but. So you come through a bottom and it's fields on yeah. all sides. So there is four blinds in two fields. So they're like mm -hmm. at the corner. I know what you're talking about, yeah. So when you're coming through, you looked out to the side, Michael said, count them deer. There was 10 deer mm -hmm. out here and all the blinds are out here and they were facing the road, like the deer at the road. And I said, well, they can't shoot them because they can't shoot at the road. <laughs> but it was kind of funny because everybody was complaining. They weren't know, seeing nothing. That's what I tell everybody. I said, deer are so elusive. All you have to do is drive down the trace, down about 60. Yeah. And, and you'll find one. There they are. They'll jump in the car with you. Well, yeah, his, um, Michael's first cousin, she actually uh, hit one on the way home from a ball game, right there in that same thing. It was a buck, but uh, she has, she had one of those cars mm -hmm. and bless her heart, it just kind of, it destroyed, destroyed the it. whole front of it. And it was, but luckily everybody was okay. So. Yeah. Well, that sucks. She get the deer? She cut it in half. So, <laughs> yeah, she got it. <laughs> it didn't go far then. Oh no. well. But. <sighs> it happens though. I mean, anywhere that, yep. you know, there's a highway and fields on both sides, you're gonna, there's gonna be mm -hmm. one throw, you know, hop through That's there. That's true. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, it's Friday. Finally. Finally. Friday. So, you guys enjoy your weekend. Like always, thanks for hanging out with us. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise. Cool tools and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.